Hello children, hello people. I am Mrs. Biduya, the owner of Pipiville Integrated. Okay, so let's start. Good morning. <laughs> Where you take from as a child? In the previous job or house? Oh, I am not in Trenton when I was a child, I intended to be somebody. I intended to be an engineer. When I was when I was little, and I wanted also to be an accountant. I have no I have no recollection that I would do business like this. How did it feel when you got the idea for this business? How did it feel? First, um, I was motivated to do this business. I was in the academy already when I went into this, before I went into this, into this business. And yeah, when, when the time, when, when, during those times, when I was still in the academy, I was the first head uh, in Coleo de San Juan de Letra. Uh, and I got pregnant, sabi ng husband ko. Uh, we should give priority to our children or will be children in the future since the visa ko ng mga kaibigan sa visa you have to set your priority it's okay my part time lang as, as head okay then that that uh, that the child sabi niya plus it's easy to raise it's easy to raise a child but it's hard to raise good child okay, there's a difference so sabi niya, if you really really want to teach then build the school if there is a passion in teaching then you build your own school so they must done converted our house into a school because <laughs> I am passionate in teaching. Okay, I, I want to be part of what I, what I have in teaching. So, para mas mahalagaan ko ang anak ko, di ba? Ang business na lang. Anyway, my husband is a businessman. So, he is really the entrepreneur, not me. So, yun. Let's start up with this. Dahil na birth yung anak ko. Kailangan yung time ko. Priorities. How did you know you wanted to be an entrepreneur? As what I am telling you, I was forced to do this. <laughs> My husband is the entrepreneur. So I was, I was, I was, um, parang, binigyan ako ng asawa ko ng diversion sa buhay para hindi na ginawa ko ng board. <laughs> I am not the entrepreneur. My husband is, I am an educator. So my husband is the businessman. So I was forced into this business because of him. So he is giving me the the my diversion in life, teaching, and at the same time taking care of the children. Oh my my child. It's not really me. So when I started this, it's not me who is the entrepreneur, but it's my husband. Were you giving up anything? And I was again in a big school, Paleo de San Juan de Letra. And I already am a system scientist in Maria. Yes, I am the boss on my team at the top of my career. So he must, I have given up my career for the sake of my children. Okay? It's not, it's not, so 
how much did I have, have I given up? My life, <laughs> my career in exchange for this. Hmm. I was already there. I know I was already there. I was already a system scientist. Nung mga times na ang mga computers ay napakalalaki. Okay. I was already there. We are the first computer science world. Okay? I am already there. I graduated computer science. I mastered computer science. I graduated business ad. Master business ad, uh, take another course, take up education, and have my master's degree also. So, all of those, because it is how we have to And you all are saying, these are my credentials. I am already at the top of my credentials. <laughs> how difficult was it to get started? Very, very difficult. First, it's very hard. When you start a business, it, it's not a better process. Maybe, sabi natin, it's a better process, but it has to. The most difficult, difficult part in putting up a business is digging up. Okay? Putting up. Kasi una una, when you put up the school, sino magtitiwala sa inyo? Bago ka. Do you have a name? Who will trust you? Sabi nga sa akin ng DepEd, mapalit ka pag may 20 kang estudyante na nag-enroll sa'yo during the opening. Nobody will trust you. Am I right? Yes. Especially in this kind of business, this is service-oriented. Diba? And mind you, your parents will not trust a newly opened business such as a school. Diba? Ang, ang hahanapin ng parents right away yung established na agad at may name. That's why you're all in Palsan. <laughs> Lahat ng bata gusto pumasok ng Palsan. Because you have the name. Eh para sa isang private school na bagong bago, who will trust? That's the most difficult part. Just. In putting up a business, the most difficult part is the starting. Because it's very hard to get people who are going to trust you in any other business. Kahit in perfume, di ba? Hindi ko pipili na, ano yan, bago. Di ba? Were you working on your own? Were you working on your own? Ano yung sabihin mo? Did you ask me? On your own? When you, of course! This is my bread and butter now. Okay, I have to work on my own at first. Because when you are starting a business, hindi mo kailangan ng maraming i-spill yung pera mo, di ba? Kasi nag-start up ka na lahat ng finances mo nandito. Di ba? Tapos, ang kukunin mo lang, syempre, hindi ka nakukuha ng maraming maraming worker. Kung kaya mo mag-teach, ikaw lang muna teacher. Ikaw na rin janitor. Ikaw na rin lahat. Diba? Kasi you are starting on your own. You will be working, of course, on your own. Kasama ang investment mo. Sarili mo as your investment. Pata nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-nag-a-
Am I prepared? Okay. Mm, internet ready or um, sabihin natin. Is my experience uh, enough? Yes. I am prepared. I am well educated. I have no credentials. I am prepared. In moving up a business. Tama ba? Tama I am prepared. With finances? Of course, we do not know how much. <laughs> uh, okay, so financially speaking, when I put up this business, okay, ang nag suffer yung isang business natin. Okay? Because the, the, the second business is the one um, finance every investment we have here. So, financially, I can say yes. Kasi we were able to put up the building, we were able to put up the business. So I can say basically, um, yes, I went with you in looking at this business. Did you write a business plan? Yes, basically we have the physical business studies. I said, it's just a requirement when we have this physical business studies. So, Feasibility studies will tell you if putting up the business if it is feasible or not. So, pag hindi siya feasible, bakit ka ang tipot up the business? What was a typical work week like for you? Work week? Uh, I start my my work at 7 o'clock in the morning and finishes at 2, 4 o'clock. And of course, Monday to Friday. That's the thing. Yes. Oh, all of So, doing all Have your goals and values changed since startup and so how? Goals and values. Goals. Uh, basically, sabi ko nga sa inyo, Mine is my motivation for my children. Why do I do that? If I can do it with my children, I can also do it with, my, with other kids. So that's the vision. My guinea pigs are my children. So, kung sila ang guinea pig mo, these are your goals. Ibig sabihin, you're going to do your best with these children. Then din ang in-part ng silang mga. Sila yung magiging replica ng data ito mga mga. Okay? So that's my goal. Did it change? Not at all. Sabi ko sa mga anak ko, ang goal sa life is not to compete with any other people. Kasi we, 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 we have different capacity. We have different goals. Pero ang sabi ko sa mga children ko, do not compete with any other students or with any other people. Look at yourself in your own position. Laging kumitin na yung sarili mo. At sasabihin mo, am I doing my best? If so, sabi ko sa kanila, do better than your best. Okay? Do it better than your best. That's my goal and that's my vision in life. Doing better than my best. Para hindi ka na iingir sa, sa iba. Kasi your goal is looking at your performance at a time. And from there, you can compare. Ah, okay. I will do my, my uh, better than what I have done before. So that's my goal. The perspective na did it change my you know, my vision? Did it change me? Uh, siguro sabi natin for the better para mag-achieve for more. Yun yun. Uh, kasi wala na nga ano, di ba? Change is relative. Eh. Pag sinabi natin change, wala kang tao magbabago, di ba? So pati yung goals natin, sabi natin na level up. Nag-level up yung goals na yung life. Kasi nung sabi ko, ano lang ako, preschool lang ako, tsaka elementary, kasi so, parang ako mga school. Nag-level up, di ba? Pwede pala. May room for expansion. May room for greater goals. Kasi doing better than your best. Di ba? Hindi ka nang iingit sa katabi mo. Ang tinitignan mo, yung performance.
performance mo ngayon, then improve mo the next time. Wala nang gay. Wala nang gay. Next. Can you please tell us about your biggest mistake? Okay. Nandito na. Minsan. The biggest mistake that I have committed in life is being so considerate and being so kind. That's the biggest mistake that I've ever committed. That's why we have to win. Kasi ako, pag nakiusap na sa akin na umiyak ang bata, kahit ma-permit ko ang isa, bibigyan ko. Tama? Sabi sa akin ng finance manager ko, pag ganyan ang ganyan ang ginagawa mo, malulubog tayo at hindi tayo makakapagpasweldo ng tayo. Am I right? This is a business. Hindi ito charity work. So the biggest mistake that I have committed in my life is being so kind and being so considerate. Kailangan din pala ng pangil. Okay, kailangan din pala ng, ng pag, paghihipin. If you want this to go on, kailangan, ay, hindi ka muna, pwede mo na. Kaya matuto kang malingil. Kaya di ka marunong malingil, mabag sa negosyo mo, walang pera. Hindi ba? Hindi yung mistake na pwede ko. Kaya hindi niya ako nalilingin. Tinanggal na ako sa pinas. Tama, my dear? Oo, oh, hindi niya ako nalilingin. Kaya pagka nasasab sa akin, doon doon kayo makiusap. Next question po. What would you consider your most important values, what we call the core, you have to learn the, through the process? Okay, the important values that I have learned is, one, no years left. Well, okay? Know yourself well. Kasi marami kang, ma marami kang maririnig ng chismis, marami kang maririnig ng panilira, marami kang panilira. If you do not know yourself this much, that much, you cannot make a start. Hindi ka mo. Mapaparalyze ka, di ba? Mapaparalyze ka. Because knowing yourself is knowing your values. Di ba? Alam mo yung values mo, hindi ka matitinan ng kahit na sino if you know your values very well. But of course, isa sa mga core value ko is God first. Okay. You put God first there in the first place because God knows the future. Di ba? He knows the future and He has plans for you. So yun yun eh. Una, first, So, ano yung core value ko? It's God. No, it's God. No? Am, I, am I glorifying God if I'm doing this? Diba? That's it. Eh? The core value mo. Am I glorifying God if I'm doing this? So, that checks. Kahit wala na check sa'yo, alam mo na makakapagbigay na ito ng glory, mag-glorify that power. Second, knowing your self, your strength. Kasi pag dumating na yung mga, sabi ko nga sa'yo, yung mawala na ito, yung mga panira, yung mga chisels. If you know yourself na better, kahit walang naniniwala sa'yo, makakatayong pa, kasi alam mo ang sa'yo. Alam mo, hindi ko totoo yung lahat. Because you know yourself. You know yourself. So kahit wala na naniniwala, you know that you have God with you, and you know yourself. More than the you know. That's the story. Last question. Did you make any really smart or really dumb decisions? Please elaborate. Okay, sabi ko nga sa inyo. May matino sa bawat decision. Hindi na tayo perfect. Nobody is perfect. Meron ba? Kung may perfect dito, di dapat walang nangyayari ng isang mga sabi ng mundo. We make mistakes. We make bad decisions in life. We make dumb decisions in life. Katulad na yung sinabi ko sa inyo, the weakness that I have is I am so kind and considerate. That's why I am vulnerable with abuses. Diba pag mabait kayo sobra, inaabuso kayo. Diba? That's... Diba? Am I right? You are vulnerable for abuse of any kind of abuse. Kasi hindi ka mabuti na galit eh. Because that's the dumb decision that I have ever made. I am always saying yes and accommodate everybody. Hindi pala dapat So that I have learned in my entire 
uh, business career na hindi pala dapat lagi kang mag-alala. Hindi ka dapat lagi kang mag-alala. Di ba ang no, tayo sa school? Hindi ka dapat lagi kang mag-alala. Okay? Na meron din pala, when you love a person, dapat you should, it's uh, like we have to be cruel to be kind. Di ba? So that I have to learn. Thank you for this vulnerable for me. All kinds of things. So, sa isang business pala, kailangan may rin ka rin strong decision na hindi. You should say, you should learn how to say no. Not yes all the time. That's the dumbest decision that I have. Yung magkaroon ng big heart. Ako, mabibig. Okay? 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 Okay?
learn. In every failure that you have, look at it as an opportunity to learn. Para hindi mo nire <laughs> I failed in this subject. I failed in this part. Learn. So, it's a mistake na it goes to that much experience. It's a learning experience. Na hap, dapat ang motivation dun is para maging better person. And lastly, lastly, Enjoy what you have because hindi lang na hardship lang. Meron din naman perks. When you see your graduates become successful, well, happy ka naman. Pag nakita mo yung milestone ng ina nila at mas greater pa sa inyo, happy ka naman. Why? Sa perspective na isang buwan, I have about 18 years old ako when I first teach in college. Yeah, graduated my course. Pagdating ko naman, didibo ako noon. Graduation namin. Uh, okay? Learn whatever you want. And do not lose the passion. Okay? Uh, wow. uh, did I answer your question? Yes. yes. Wow. Did you learn something? Yes. Wow. 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 Good. Okay, thank you then. Thank you very thank much. Okay, I hope so. So again, I hope I help also help you guys. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Thank you for giving me.